everybody. Welcome to stream. I hope you have all been having a wonderful day so far. Today we are just doing drawing as per usual. You know what's up. I've been locked in this prison for so long. Get me out. Thanks, thank you, Smug Firefly, for the prime for 32 months. Lives, eh? And then you rock and lemon for the prime for 24 months. That is crazy. Anytime, Baconator. You know I put that down as my name at first, but it straight up, like, didn't fit, so I changed it to Crumb. But he still calls me Baconator. And I don't know why. And there's nothing I can do about it. Because I go to change my name, and the only thing I can change is, like, from Crumb. This is Crumb Cat laughing at you guys for yourself for a long time. Hi, Piers. <laughs> Funny you showed up. We were actually just talking about you. I don't know you, don't call me Pierce. I'm so small. I'm so small and little, and I have never done anything cruel to you or your family, or ever did anything to your friends. I've never said something horrible to you ever in my life that I can recall. So I have no idea why you're acting like this. Oh, he looks so wet and pathetic. Why is that one so sad? He just looks like this. Chrome Cat redesign where every single one of his eyes just looks like that now. He's the same, his eyes just look like that. <laughs> he was cutting onions. Someone was cutting onions. I said, hi, Mithen. I thought I responded. Well, I did in my head and I forgot. Oh my God, ew. Big freak eyes. He didn't, he's not even doing anything. All he does is just look like that. Average deadbeat. Hey, I'm not a deadbeat to you. You're not my son. If you were, then I would be a deadbeat. But you're not my son, so I'm not. Oh, Lemon, we were talking about this yesterday, I think. Where is Half Pave? How has Half Pave been? Can't believe you've been a streamer for only five days. It's it's crazy how how much. I've grown in the past five days and how much this community has grown. Beautiful world we live in. Industry plant streamer. They actually put me here. They gave me a contract and they set up an AI for me everything too. I'm actually reading a script right now of all the exact things that I'm supposed to say. From time for your daily Twitch stream. Yes, Twitch. That's my life. That's my script. They don't even give me an actual script. They just have like all the words I should say, but it's in a really long acronym. So when I'm supposed to be talking, it looks like this. It's just like a bunch of things that I'm supposed to say, and I have to guess the letters of it. It's just a big, long line of all the first letters of the words I'm supposed to say. Scripted Chrome Cat is so cute. <laughs> She's just standing funny. We celebrated the survey anniversary yesterday. Oh, that's so cute. 
Is that your famous catchphrase? Specific you? Yeah, you know how it is. I'm always saying things like that. We also probably shut down the server yesterday. It's like the uh, Markiplier thing he did. It was like, it was like, it was something in Latin. Like, Runus or whatever. Something. That's, that's me. Once I, once it hits my birthday, I'm deleting all of my content. Unis Honest. Yes. That was it. I never watched that. And I guess I can't ever watch that because it's gone forever. Which was the point, I guess. I remember seeing a YouTube video where it's just like, like all the Unis Honest videos re-uploaded. And it's like, well, I can't watch them because that'd be like the opposite of what I want, you know? Finally free, let's go, yes! <laughs> Hi chat, I'm sick. Oh, I'm so sorry, Photon. I hope Rat Heisenberg made your day better. I don't know why, but one day I just woke up and I needed to draw a little mouse Ethan so bad. Like, I just kept on telling my friends and I kept tweeting it on my private. I'd wake up and I'd tweet like, I need to draw a little mouse Ethan immediately. Red Heisenberg has made my day. I love him, I love him so much. I love Rat Ethan, he's so cute like a peanut. Mouse Ethan was born two days ago. Everything's so quiet. In your anxious small fry for the uh, 245 bits. It is very creme appreciated. We're gonna set a glue trap for, for Rat Heisenberg. I hope Rat Heisenberg gets fooled by a cheese trap. You guys hate him. He never, no way, he, why am I defending him? Yeah, he sucks, let's kill him. I like drawing Ethan as any small prey animal. The music is a bit too loud. Let me turn it down. I think I'm just being quiet. Crumb, what do you think Moreau would be? I think he'd be a snail. Aw, I have drawn... I always go like, okay, either is this type of animal. But then there's so many, like, what's the word? There's so many animal categories, does that make sense? Like, okay. This is what Ethan and all the other characters would be in the specific category of equines. Does that make sense? Like, so Ethan's a deer, but if Ethan's a deer, then Carl's a horse. If Ethan's a mouse, then Carl's a rat. And if Ethan's a rabbit, then Carl is a wolf. The eyes don't see the vision. What marsupial would Ethan be? The only marsupials I know of are koalas and platypuses? Are platypuses a marsupial? No, are platypuses just mammals? What are marsupials again? Please look at honey possums now. I've drawn Kyle as a possum. Oh, oh my gosh. What is wrong with it? Is he ugly on purpose? Aw, so cute. Hold on. This is a honey possum. Doesn't it look funny? Honey possums are actually Ethan. Every small animal with big 
Beady eyes is Ethan. You look funny, we don't say anything. It's not my fault that Chrome Cat is just a bunch of circles mushed together. What are my soupials again? They're the world's smallest marsupial, and I think they have the smallest mammalian offspring. Chrome Cat is so hard to draw, I hate you. You literally watch me draw her like every day. Marsupials have pouches. Oh, so Chrome Cat is a marsupial. Look how easy it is. All you're doing is drawing a bunch of curves. It is not difficult. Chrome Cat is <laughs> a famous pouch. You know, we're always talking about Chrome Cat's pouch. It, it is hard to draw that thing. Oh, it was so funny when I had everyone draw Chrome Cat and I showed it on stream. That was so cute. Should we do that again? Will we do a tutorial of drawing Chrome Cat and then we'll just look at them? <laughs> that was so funny. They are all so funny. <laughs> oh my god. And some of you drew amnesia. <laughs> she looked like a spider. <laughs> she looked like a little bug. I was even at the red line stream earlier today. I feel bad doing red lines. Because I'm not uh, professional enough to give people good advice. I can look at it and be like, this looks wrong. But then I won't be able to be like, it's because of this and you need to change this. I'll just be like, this something is off. Touches the ground. Something happened here. I'm saving that drawing to give to you a bit of card. I'll frame it. I'll frame it and I'll hang it. <laughs> okay, good night, Mason. I'm going to peel all my wallpaper off because I hate you so much. Hello? What is wrong with you? Go to sleep. I hope when you wake up you have no more wallpaper. And there's mysterious residue left all over your floor. And no matter how much you scrub, you can't get it out. So you get really suspicious. So you look under the floorboards and you find something horrible. I'm full of evil today. Unbelievable. Hi, ravioli. Just like the telltale heart. Peeling the crumb made wallpaper off like patchy feeling betrayed by Spongebob. What if you peel your wallpaper off only to reveal a fleshy membrane mixed with wires and circuitry? I'd bite it. Hi, I just ate pizza. Yum. <laughs> I have a friend who like, shut up, never mind, I changed my mind, I changed my mind, I changed my mind. Okay, this is really niche, but anyone who was growing up and got to change, and got to choose the wallpaper color that they wanted, did you change it to this specific color? Does it, sorry, that's like really specific. I swear that's a thing. I swear that's a thing. I remember a long time ago seeing a video where someone like talked about that and everyone was like, I did that. And I was like, oh my God, I did that. The streamer is clinically insane. Whatever, you guys don't see the vision. You guys don't see the vision. You guys don't see the vision. I never had wallpaper. Me neither, we just painted the walls. My sister did that to our room, I was forced to follow through. <laughs> if I got my hands on wallpaper, let's just say, 
I wouldn't be snacking on oyster crackers anymore. I'm so excited for my animation, guys. I have finished 4 out of the 12 scenes, which means I only have 8 scenes left. I figured that out by doing some quick math in my head. I'm so excited. I've been working hard on getting one scene done every day, but I'm thinking I might be able to get two scenes done today. And when I do that, I will officially have completed the entire Baker's Family scenes. Can't wait for animation, you're so smart, Crown. <laughs> well, you're pretty good at that. Yeah, dividing 12 by 4? I know. It's kind of a talent that you have to be born with. I had a dream. I don't remember what it was, but when I woke up, the last thing I could remember was Italian green. Just that phrase, Italian green. And that's the only thing I remember from my dream. I woke up from that, and that was it. I don't really know what it meant. I don't even remember what I was dreaming about. But that's the only thing. It wasn't even like like a photo or like a vision or anything. It was just like a word. Is that an actual type of green? I don't know. It's just Italian green. Thank you, anxious small fry, for the gifted sub. It is very appreciated. Streamer events new most hated color? Not true. Oh my gosh, I keep on forgetting to make the crumb ice cream shirt. I could do that now, I guess. Doing stuff on stream is just more scary, though. Because I get nervous doing sketches and stuff. But then if I don't do it on stream, I might forget. But I could also just write it on my arm with Sharpie. Can you describe what it looks like? No, I'm crumb -based. I need to think on it more. I write it on paper with Sharpie. Okay, I'm still so excited. Ice cream. Write it on your monitor with Sharpie. <laughs> Have you forgotten things written on your arm before? Only because I was wearing a sweater, which happened to be the Resident Evil sweater, which technically means it was your fault for giving it to me. So, we can just basically agree that that all happened because you gave me the sweater in the first place. So technically it's not my fault. From Jack Permanence. Listen, dude. It, listen, dude. You know, whatever. Whatever. You're right. I have to take the responsibility to take the sweater back. No! Wait. Wait, Lord King. I was just joshing. I was just doing a bit of friendly ribbing. I was just doing a bit of friendly ribbing. You know. Some tomfoolery. Streamer was just fibbing. I was. I was. So then it's your fault. It is my fault. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this guilty thing. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Crumb ever. Crumb ever. Why is she a cyclops? Here's her eyelash on the other side of her head, which indicates she has another eye. Some angles I draw crumb cat at, it's just hard to draw a second eye. I don't think I have any other examples so far, but that's one of them. Why is crumb cat so stared today? She is very excited. She's looking at you guys with her big beautiful eyes. They're so full of love and happiness. This crumb cat is staring at a lamp. 
Uber Eats. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Idiot creature. She hasn't done anything ever in her life that has been bad. Sorry. <laughs> that lovingly. Yes, very worth it? Well, I was gonna draw you, but now I'm not going to. Because you're so mean to me all the time. I want Boba so bad and it's all your fault. I haven't had Boba in a while. She is staring into the sun. Hugs to Crumb Cat Crumb Love. Thank you for your one dollar and twenty six cents, pal. Hugs to Crumb Cat. Crumb Cat can get a hug. It's it's like it's like when you like have a hamster and you can hold it with like one hand. Yeah, it looks like she's just being grabbed actually. <laughs> Help her! Help her! She's pinned against the wall! Help her! She's dying! <laughs> okay, bye bye. I'm going to play a taste too. I hope you have a horrible time. That's a joke. I hope you have a wonderful time. With your beautiful partner. Okay, bye peers. I'm going to, we're in the castle part. Dang, that's fast. This crumb cat looks like an oven mitt. Crumb cat branded oven mitts. I'm just gonna start selling stuff that I buy from like H&M and I'm just gonna like write crumb on it in Sharpie. Oh my god, I went to this store and like, dude, there's like a sweater in there. It looked like you could get it from H&M. And guess how much it costed? Guess how much it costed? $50, all right guys, you will not believe this. It, no joke, costed $320. And I was like, I was like, I went in there and, oh my God, there was a puffer jacket too. That one was $800. And I remember, I'm in there with like my my older sister and we're like whispering like oh my god this is so expensive and she's like shh the employee's watching us don't be rude and I was just like dude this is actually crazy that happened to me one time I tried to sweat on check the price tag after it was like $120 and I gasped thank you <laughs> hi Riley thank you thank you dude like I'm saying I feel like some clothes is it a brand thing? Is it a brand thing, like genuinely? Cause it was so mid. It was so mid. Eight hundred dollars. They want people to finance clothes. It was so bad too. Like when I say H and M, I mean it was like very thin. It's very thin fabric. The style too, it has like a little like lace, like the, like the, like the, like the strings of the hoodie tied to like a really simple bow in the front. I was just shocked, man. That thing with decolor and two washes. It's actually insane. And we just went around the store going like, guess how much this costs? And then the other person would be like giving like some extremely exaggerated answer like oh it's two hundred dollars and then it actually be two hundred dollars it's actually crazy just being in that store Heh, <laughs> the only clothes I buy are from Ross dress for less because they're <laughs> I don't know if you picked up on it but 
You can pretty much dress for less. Listen. If I can get a shirt for $6, I'm gonna keep shopping there for the rest of my life. I don't know the last time I've purchased clothes. I don't bake top burger much recently, actually. But I just stopped growing eventually. And like, I guess my fashion taste has changed. But like, am I really gonna go buy an entirely new wardrobe? Just so I can be like, wow, I feel um, vaguely better than I did before. No, I won't. I'll feel a lot better not spending money on clothes. Yeah, you certainly look like you dress for less. Looks away with tears running down my face. Whatever, man. All my t-shirts are 50-50. Your merch are band shirts. I have a lot of my own merch. Not in a way where I'm buying my own merch and wearing it around. I literally just have it in my closet. Like, I do not wear it. I do not like it. It's like when you make old art and you don't like it anymore. So you don't want to look at it. It's like that, but it's like real and physical. And I keep thinking just like dumping all of it at like, like a, like a Goodwill. But then, if I dump a bunch of crumb sample merch, one-of-a-kind crumb sample merch, in an area near me, then I think that might just, like, instantly dox me. It stares at you like the green goblin mask. So, I'm thinking I'll maybe just give it to friends. Maybe. But I feel so embarrassed doing that, like, hey, you want my merch? Like, ugh, I think I'm all that. That's so embarrassing. Like, do you want do you want my merch? That's so embarrassing. Sell it to the fleas? I don't even want to sell it, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it to people at this point. I already give your merch to Ross at the same time so it doesn't look suspicious. It doesn't make it seem like that. It's just you being like, you could get more use out of this than me. If only there was a place where you could give it to some fans at some event! No, because I was thinking about doing that at VidCon. But I feel like that's so weird too. Like, here's a shirt that I've worn like twice. Do you want it? I feel so weird! <laughs> I feel so bad. Like, what am I gonna do? Lug a plastic bag to VidCon, and I just put it on the ground, and I'm like, have at thee. And then they, like, just rummage through the bag. There's gonna be a bunch of people! Like... I don't know. Give it in a suspicious black bag. I'll carry all my merch in a duffel bag. That definitely doesn't look suspicious. I can just dump it on my local Google. I don't want I don't want you to have to take a bag of my clothes to dispose of. That's I feel so bad. I do not want to do that to you. All of the shirts are they're very old crumb merch. Like very, very old crumb merch. Like I look at it and I absolutely dislike it. Like I can I genuinely cannot imagine people wearing it. Like, first hoodie and shirt? Oh, yes, actually. Oh, wow! Oh, yeah! I can, like... I do have, like, the first ever crumb merch. Huh. By the way, I have, like, eight crumb socks. Eight pairs of crumb socks, and I lost, like, all of them. Like, I don't know where socks go to, like, disappear. But, like, they just do. And that happened to the crumb socks. Tweet a set of coordinates and leave it there, but don't say it's a merch. I can't wait for someone to find the coordinates and just see a big black bag. <laughs> Surely their first thought will be to open it up and find the clothes that fit them and not call the police. 
Maybe we just do a t-shirt, can't have VidCon, like at a baseball game. Riley, I'll give you merch, but I think they're all small. Like, they're tight-fitting on me. And I'm like, five foot two and very thin. To be fair though, a lot of people at VidCon are actually shorter than me. I guess short people just watch me. I'm small and you also live in Europe? <laughs> I'm like your height or shorter. Yeah, I know, but like, I don't think it's a height thing. I'm just very thin. And it's already like tight fitting on me. They flock to you. Short people love me. It's because they find, it's because they find relatability to Chromecast. Hold on, let me see what merch I have. Okay. It's probably just very old stuff. I have... Oh, I have the sweater vest that I never ended up selling. I have... I have all the Christmas sweaters. I have the pad Thai sweater, the black and red one. I have two Crumb Cat uh, sweaters. The one that I had cat ears and stuff. Uh, I have Crooked Hat. I have like, basically all of the shirts. I have some stuff that I just never even sold. Like, they sent me a sample and I was like, this looks bad, I'm not selling this. <laughs> Sell Crumb Bulletproof Vest. We'll see how it goes. I have your one red and black long sleeve and one Christmas sweater, I think. Dang it. Well, now I can't give you a second one. <laughs> I'll, figure, I'll figure something out. Do, they, do a charity stream and sell it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to sell used merch. Does that make sense? Probably you should do another pajama drop. The pajama clothes were really cute. I actually really did love that. Just send it to a random address? I'll just send it to a random address and like not- What is wrong with all of the crumb cats? Why are literally all of them frowning? <laughs> What's going on? This- this merch situation seems to really get them in a twist. I want those pajamas so bad. I'll think of more pajama ideas. I really thought they were cute. It's probably like my favorite. One of my favorite merch drops that I did. It's a very cute shirt in my crumb opinion. I just really like those colors too. I'll have to try hard to think of a new version that isn't basically the same exact thing. Speaking of giveaways, I remember how tedious the Krug was. Oh my gosh. Literally, why would you enter a raffle and then not check your email? Can you make a pajama set with a silken cap? Like Scrooge style. Scrooge style. Sorry, I read too much royal cats. I'll figure out something. I need to clean out my closet too. I wear like probably like the same like three outfits every week. And then sometimes I'll change things up a bit by wearing shorts instead of sweatpants because like it's hotter one day or whatever. Should do a giveaway where you give $73 to me. Is there like a game that's $73 that you want? Same closets are hard to clean out though. Yeah, I think I'll just... I'll at least just shove everything into a bag. Cause if I'm not gonna wear it regardless, I might as well just shove it all into a bag. Does that make sense? 
Me too, to be honest. And then I'm like, oh, I have no clothes. Okay, but to be fair, these are like my own merch. And like, I'm not going to wear them. <laughs> if I ran out of all my shirts and I only had crumb merch left to wear, I would literally just not wear a shirt and I just wouldn't go outside. Or I would just re-wear a dirty shirt. Because I, as a person who has this voice that is recognizable, if I went out into public with this voice and my own merch, I feel like it's like a hundred times more noticeable. You're like a bacon. I just talk very quietly when I'm in public. Turn off the voice changer. I'll just turn off my voice changer when I go outside. I did a hooded crumb onesie. We tried that. It didn't go well. I'm not a fan of the sample they sent me. The uh, quality looked very poor. And I could have sold it technically, but I wasn't happy with it. Do you not coordinate when to wash so you have one clean shirt and wash the rest? Um... No, not really, but I never run out of shirts. I have never run out of clothes to wear. Like, I do have pants I can wear. If I, like, if all my good pants are, like, dirty. Squishy underscore teacher X 500. But I don't want to wear leggings in Texas weather. Thank you, Squishy T, for the 500 bits. It was very appreciated. I unfortunately went through the preteen phase where wearing tights and leggings was like the greatest fashion choice ever. So I had like a bunch of leggings. And then I realized, hey, putting on leggings after I shower actually sucks and is annoying. So I just started wearing baggy clothes every single day. Don't remind me. <laughs> Don't remind me. I was never a preteen. I went from 10 to 14 right away. Is 14 not a preteen? The galaxy lighting? Stop. <laughs> It was so bad. You just wear leggings and then like a sweater. That was the style. That was the style of every single 13, 11 year old or whatever. 13, 11 year old girl. Fourteen has a routine in it. Oh yeah. The black legs with a 21 pilot shirt and converse. Oh my god. I was never... What's the word for it? Basic? I was never basic enough to be like converse and stuff. Oh my god. The friend group I was in, they were so that specific niche. We did a secret Santa and one of the girls was like, I want a mason jar. I was like... I want candy and I like chocolate. And this one girl was like, I want a mason jar with with twine around the around the lid. Like, girl, what? <laughs> it's so funny. Why? It's just the aesthetic, I guess. <laughs> to do what? Oh my god. The style back then. Uh, at least for what I have, like being a 2005 kid, it was very, like, my friends like, Oh my gosh, I want to have a messy bun, and I'm going to wear Converse, and I'm going to tie flannel around my waist and stuff. Okay, BIB, I'm going to shout, I'll leave the stream running, because I'm awesome or whatever, heh? <laughs> Don't say that I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> guys, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? My god. It was so bad. No? Okay, well, to be fair, I feel like it's a very specific thing to girls. 
<laughs> it was a very preteen girl thing. The Tumblr Rena Fair. Converse were all the rage. I hate girls. Demelly, you aren't you in class? I am old. You're not that old. I think. <laughs> the Tumblr aesthetic. Wish I understood fashion more and had access to any clothing whatsoever. That's always what I think. He is 94. Average 78 year old in chat. Getting back to it. Go to school. I almost said church, so I have it. Have fun learning or whatever you're doing. Uh, I can't remember when you're cooking classes. Lord Manual Labor King. Uh, I think my style now. I don't really have a clothing style. I guess. At least, what I wear normally. I like to dress nice for VidCon and stuff. But then I don't like wearing any of the same clothes I wore at VidCon in real life. I just wear, like, sweatpants or shorts. And then uh, my shirts are just very big, oversized shirts. VidCon outfits. I like dressing up nice for VidCon. I like wearing bracelets and rings when I go. Is the bunny dress just for VidCon? Yes, it actually is just for VidCon. Anything I wore at VidCon, I never wear again in my life. Outside of that. Can I buy you a gamer t-shirt like one that says, I'm about to level up and you look like you have just the right amount of XP? I will no joke wear that like every day if you get that for me. I had a t-shirt that said, um, do not disturb 12 year old in gaming mode. Cause I thought it was funny. And then someone said, oh, I thought you were actually 12. And I just stopped wearing it because then I realized if I look like I'm 12, then it doesn't look ironic. It was so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. I just stopped wearing that shirt. Cause I was like, I don't it does I don't look obvious enough for the punchline. And then my older brother was like, Can I have it? And I was like, Yeah, sure, whatever. You look like you're 20. <laughs> whatever. Do you still have it? I do still have it. I just don't wear it anymore. I should get a t-shirt that just has like abs on it, but like it's really poorly cropped. So like you can see the person the abs belong to on the t-shirt. Like you can see like his arms and his like, like a part of his head just cropped out a little. I will bring you that shirt. Anything is better than an Ethan body pillow. Like, like, it's just like, it's just a photo of a dude with abs at this point. Just a photo of a dude with abs on my t-shirt. Beautiful world we live in. Kind of an awesome t-shirt. That reminds me I should start getting that Ethan pillow ship. Something's happening, something's happening, something's happening to me, something's happening, something's happening, something's happening. There's something in the air, there's something in the air, there's something in the air. Crem ever, crem ever, crem ever. I don't even care. I don't even care. Gas leak. Love is in the air? Wrong. Gas leak. 
Don't worry, I'll just bring the cover. You can buy the pillow for it. I'm gonna actually throw up, bro. <laughs> this is the worst, this is the worst. I should get you something, Zia. Ooh, maybe I can get you a shirt that's like... I'm not racist, but I really hate this one Asian guy. And it'll have an arrow, and it'll point to me. <laughs> Don't get that for me! Don't do that! What's wrong with you? Oh, so you can get me a t-shirt, but I can't get you a t-shirt. <laughs> Opposite of that. Your t shirt is literally saying you're not racist. Oh my god, it's like that one t shirt where it just, it's like that one t shirt where it just says like white supremacy, racism, bigotry, sexism. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's so funny. Hold on, I need to find it for you guys. <laughs> I need to find it. Where is it? It was so funny. I can't find it. Dang it. Maybe I need to look through Twitter instead. Give me a crumb second. It just, it just, it's like a shirt that says racism, bigotry, patriarchy, white supremacy, inequality, oppression, intolerance, injustice. But then like, they're crossed out, but it was really hard to see in the photo. So it looked like the dude was just wearing a shirt that said all that stuff. It was so funny. Found it? Dang it. It was a specific photo. I remember seeing it on Twitter. It was the funniest thing ever. What's wrong with you, bro? Why would you get me that shit? Because apparently the arrow one doesn't work. We should get one of those t-shirts. Where it's like pointing arrows and it says like, My best friend or whatever. So it's gonna be like this. But let's get, let's get it so they both look like this. How much do we gotta pay you to not get the shirt for zero? <laughs> then you pay for the one dollar. Fine, whatever. I won't get that shirt for zero. Nobody appreciates the gifts. How much do we pay you to get it? <laughs> I'm with stupid, but the arrow is pointing up. I need to think of more merch ideas. He keeps me safe. She keeps me wild. I should make really beautiful merch like that. <laughs> Don't question like me. <laughs> Crumb pinwheel hat. Getting you a shirt that says was born yesterday. Whatever, if you got me that shirt, I would draw an arrow on it with Sharpie so it points at you. And whichever way you're standing next to me, I'll erase the arrow and redraw it. You can't erase on fabric? How would you know? 
I bet you never tried before. Just do two arrows. I'll just staple a compass to my chest. No, to the shirt. And then I will make it so that it always points to zero. Compass forever linked to zero. Sounds like a good idea to me. New Iron Man. Is that Iron Man's thing? He had a compass for a heart? What was his heart? I don't understand. I don't know anything about any Marvel thing until recently. Why would you want a compass pointing to me the entire time? What if I get lost? What if I go to the bathroom and you're like, I'll wait outside for you, Crumb. And I say, okay, but promise not to leave. And you say, I promise not to leave. And then I go pee, and I wash my hands, and when I come out, you're not there. So I start freaking out, and I get really worried and stuff. And I walk out of the bathroom to look for you, and I keep looking back and forth, but I can't see you. But it turns out you just moved to sit in the shade somewhere. But I didn't know that, because you didn't tell me, and you should have waited there. Yeah, Zio. Pretty messed up of you to do. <laughs> gonna freak out! Typical thing of zero to do. Typical. Bye, Crumb. I'll see you next time. Have a nice stream. Thank you. Have a nice day. How do you come up with this stuff on the spot? We need to analyze your brain. I'm just saying it would have been pretty messed up for zero to do. Should have known better, man. No, Zio should have known better. I don't understand almost anything that comes out of the mouth of this talking box. But I love spending time watching your streams, Crumb. Thank you. Maybe, like, to some people, watching me is just the equivalent of, like, Animal Crossing character gibberish. Maybe that's what I sound like to people who don't speak English. What did Zia do to deserve this? I'm just saying why well, I need a compass to point to Zia. Bugs when you lift up a rock. You sound like that to everyone? Crumb ever. I don't even crumb care. Crumb version of caring. I can't stop saying crumb ever. Hatred is vastly increasing every second I watch. I am currently glowing red and steaming. Most healthy crumb viewer. Addicted to crumb ever. Crumb puns are just so fun. That'd be so cute if someone made a model of crumb in the Animal Crossing style. Oh, my friend drew me in the Animal Crossing style. It was so cute. I think the thing with Animal Crossing cats is that they're so sharp. And their ears are so big. So Crumb doesn't really fit in with any of the Animal Crossing models, I feel like. To people who don't speak English, you sound like that one bunny video where it sounds like it's speaking in Animal Crossing style. Maybe the bear. Crumb is not a bear, though. Maybe Crumb can be a horseshoe crab. Today I woke up and I watched a bunch of videos of whales exploding. Crumb would need to be a special character model like Isabel. Oh, yes, I would be special. That's true. I agree. Why are they exploding? Uh, sometimes it happens. I, like, I saw it explode. And it went everywhere. And it was so gross. But I guess that's nature, I guess. Sometimes I see videos of like wildlife and stuff. Like a bobcat, like getting a squirrel. And then people are like, what are you doing? Intervene! And it's so funny to me. Like, 
If I was there, I would have intervened and saved that squirrel's life. People, when they see bears eat a fish, me personally, I'd intervene. I'd step in. Nature is cruel but beautiful. I'm going to move into the forest and I'm going to start eating squirrels with my bare hands. I like watching people rescuing animals but in reverse. <laughs> Chromecat is an apex predator. At least, that is what her species is. But Chrome, fortunately, she has grown domesticated and soft. All she does is wake up in the morning and eat a few foods before going back to sleep. Oh my god, is that what this is? Crumb Cat has gotten more domesticated. Oh, over the years, as I keep drawing her, she's just getting domesticated. That Crumb Cat is super round. She looks like a football in this one. Her love is to be changed, I suppose. Yes, and she is very loved. She's so round, like a little peanut. Chrome Cat is a little peanut. Peanut is such a cute word. You can call me PP for short. Perfection. Look at her. Merch are your football shaped crumb cap. Who in my chat is buying footballs? Who in my chat is buying footballs? I would. You would buy a football? I would. You guys are just gonna buy footballs? Do any of you even play football? I literally have three footballs. Okay, Pearl, you're the exception. I would if you sold a football. Out of time. Out of time. American football or soccer. American football. Yes, whenever my cousin asks me to go play with him, you're gonna buy a crumb branded football just so you can play with your cousin sometimes. I love eating ads for breakfast. What a delicious hearty meal. That's crazy. Brad, did you just wake up and watch a creme stream like first thing in the morning? It's like training your brain to like withstand the pressure. Lloyd, let's play soccer ear. <laughs> yeah, I wake up super early. That's crazy. I would not wake up, to be honest. <laughs> okay, don't start saying your time zones or what time it is for you, okay, chat? But I do think it's crazy that, like, I have become part of people's, like, schedules. Like, I'm just there now. I always assumed that People watch me if it's convenient for them. But it's like, some people like, plan around it. And that's crazy to me. I'm gonna start streaming at different times of the day. Every single time. I used to do that too. When did I start streaming at the same time every day? I'll scream and cry. Hi Riley. Can't wait for the day that I take you out of my daily schedule. I literally watched you at my brother's wedding! That is crazy! That is actually crazy. The crumb grind doesn't stop, I guess. Yesterday was an interesting case. But I would have been happier if the thing I had to go to was earlier because of the stream time. I usually prefer to be things later. The one conversation I overheard about getting ready is the real exploding one, by the way. 
It started as a whenever convenient thing, but I do work it into my life nowadays. Yeah, but that's like because you're a mod now. If it is inconvenient, don't mod. Do not work it into your life. You guys are gonna go into creme rehab. Not gonna lie, whenever you don't stream, I actually have nothing to do for two hours because my brain is probably conditioned to be here. That's crazy. I will mod no matter what. Burrito has been here for ages. <laughs> we appreciate you, Burrito. No. Grabs your shoulder and looks at you in the eyes. I appreciate you. Guys, do you think when I roleplay out loud, it makes the sentiment less sentimental. <laughs> Hi, shy guy. Throws up in my mouth. I know, I just try to tune in so that my name appears and scares chatters into behaving whenever I can't watch. It's funny to me. Oh, you think I'm funny? Looks to the side and tucks my hair behind my ear. I didn't know you felt that way. <laughs> Ew, this crumb. I do throws up. Crumb number one comedian. Crumb median. Crumb median. Piers. Piers, write that down, please. Piers is not here. Piers is, Piers is playing game right now. I need to DM him right now. Crumb median. I'm gonna DM Piers. Do not DM Piers! Crumb median. I am such smart bro. What if I also DM Piers? Leave Piers alone! Or this Crumb knows what it's all about. That was crumb funny, in parentheses, unfunny. I can be a little scribe, or oh, I appreciate it, Riley, but crumb, fortunately, Piers has a little journal in everything. Crumb Median is so good. I should change my name from, t to, uh, from Alcrumholic to Crumb Median. I like that one more. Comedy theme. The Melly can be dunce Melly. Because people laugh at stupid people. That's why you guys laugh at me, I think. And then... What can Piers be? Anything but Alcrim Holic? Okay. You guys don't see my artistic vision. You guys won't even let me use Crumb Stipator. Crumstipated is such a good pun. Crumstipated is so good. Crumstipated, please don't talk about it. It's not, it's so good. Stop saying that. It's good, but it sucks. I should still be grimy still. <laughs> it's funny, but sigh. <laughs> Crumstipated. It fights, Smelly! It's so good! It's amazing. Only good joke you've made. They're so bad! Don't do that. Nobody sees my artistic vision. Speaking of artistic, artistic vision, I am so excited for the animation. Like, I'll draw, and then my animation is all I can think about. Like, I'm drawing and I'm just thinking about animating instead. No, go on! <laughs> it's a good pun, but it's so viscerally upsetting to hear. Me using my autism powers to animate. Freudian <laughs> and slip! I'm so excited for the animation. Me too. Ah! I'm so excited! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited just thinking about it. I'm so excited. I am so close to finishing it. I am so close to finishing it. 
I actually recoiled away from my monitor. I'm so sorry. You scared my cat? Mow. That's me apologizing in cat. Mow. That's the most excitement I've heard from you in a bit, not gonna lie. Really? Wow, I need to get my energy pumped up. Maybe I have to play Splatoon again. Morale. It looks so good so far. I'm <laughs> I'm excited not through your bones. My car looked offended at the mouth. Morale. <laughs> Yay, Splatty Toon. Okay, maybe we can... No. No way, yeah, we can. Okay, we'll play Splatoon tomorrow. So I don't have any other game to play. You aren't screaming out of excitement much lately. That's a good thing. Right? <laughs> so I don't destroy people's eardrums. Wiggler Wednesday? Ugh, I don't even like Mario Kart that much. I'm sorry, guys. I don't even like Mario Kart that much. <laughs> I don't even like it that much. I'm sorry. I feel like an icicle just stabbed in my chest. Wiggler Wednesday hasn't been a thing in months. I'm sorry. You're so lame. I just don't like it. Listen. Okay, we can do Wiggler Wednesday tomorrow. We can do Wiggler Wednesday tomorrow. But then... Okay, so then... Thursday... Okay, and then Friday will be Portal Co-op. And then... Okay, so Splatoon stream will be next week. Wait, okay, hold on. Okay, today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday because I have to take out the trash. Okay, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay. Tuesday. Okay. Monday is no more Demelli, so... Okay. Tomorrow is Splatoon because Demelli has school. Friday, that's Saturday for Demelli. So that's Poido. Sunday can also be Poido. And then Tuesday will be the next Platoon stream. I'm frowning really hard right now. Why? Why are you so sad, Burrito? Grasps your shoulder. Don't be sad. The cherry blossoms flutter around us. I stare at you with my beautiful anime eyes. Don't worry, Burrito Chen. It's all okay now. I want to play Splatoon. You don't even like Mario Kart. Oh, I threw up. I'm gonna hurl. Don't look at me with those big eyes. Crumb ever, crumb ever. We need to get you contacts. Role playing on stream is crazy. <laughs> Anime Crumb. Let's try an anime crumb. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Because Mario Kart was like $60. I feel bad if I don't use it. When Ethan comes out, they will have no emotes for him. And we'll be flexing emotes on them. Wait, what? What are you guys talking about? Have you tried to come and play Fortnite so many- Yes! I need Fortnite! Oh my god, I don't need Fortnite. I don't even care about Fortnite. They need to add Ethan. I will play- I will stream Fortnite every Friday. If they add Ethan. I wrote that down in my will. I wrote that down- Wait, that means I'll die. Okay. Okay, when Ethan comes out. I'll kill myself, and then my ghost will stream Fortnite every Friday. Because that's how wills work. They only come true if you're dead. I should write a will. What? How? 
old are you supposed to be when you write a will? I mean, I guess I should write a will now. Not now, but like, you know, eventually. Two. <laughs> Epic Games, please save us! Please, Epic Games, save us! Okay, well, they added Leon, they added Chris. Did they add any girl characters yet? I think they added Claire. No, they didn't add Claire, did they? Ada, no, I think that's Red, not Red Dead Redemption. That's Dead by Daylight. Claire and Jill. Oh, so they do have uh, the woman character. Because I'm trying to think. Because I was thinking they only had Chris and Leon. So I was like, if they're going to add another Resident Evil character, it's going to be them. Leon mentioned Dave Rearin. <laughs> I hate them for adding Leon because every time I play at random, I'm forced to see Leon. Mia and the pig is a chainsaw. They wouldn't add Ethan. Like, I really, really would like to tell myself that they're gonna add Ethan, but Capcom is not going to let Ethan have a face reveal in Fortnite. They are not going to do an Ethan Winters face reveal in Fortnite. They are not doing that. <laughs> they added Resident Evil 8 Crystal. Yeah, but that just makes me feel like they're not gonna add Ethan even more. Because they added Resident Evil 8 Chris, which is basically just Ethan to Capcom. For Capcom, adding Chris, but his Resident Evil 8 version, is basically like the main character to them. They're gonna add the village girl before they add Ethan. That Peter Griffin in Fortnite, nothing's off the table, but Ethan isn't Peter Griffin! Peter Griffin is a well-known character. Resident Evil 7 revived the series. They have to. You don't know. Trust? Dude, they made the official collector's figure, Chris Redfield. They do not give a single knife about Ethan. They genuinely do not give a single knife about him. Resident Evil 8 Chris is basically the only way they acknowledge the later games. It's like, oh, well, we had Resident Evil 8 with Ethan, so let's just take Chris, but the Resident Evil 8 version, and that's basically the same thing. Fortnite's gonna add Ethan Winters, and then you would have the hug emo and will regret not playing earlier. I like to believe Ethan is a well-known character. Well-known in a bad way. He has very negative perception. Send a strongly worded letter to Epic Games. It's just a word please written a bunch of times in my own blood. <laughs> If they add Ethan, you should eat a shoe. Okay. What should I do if they add Ethan? What's something I can like bet or whatever? Jump. Play Fortnite and learn to play the game. That's a given. I will actually genuinely get really into Fortnite if they added Ethan. With bite marks in it and a voice box that says blood curdling streaming. Streaming? Screaming. They're not gonna add Ethan. It's so sad. Like, I just want any Ethan content. It's depressing. I'm like a snake eating my own tail. I make my own content for a character nobody cares about. Learn to crank 90s with Ethan. I don't even know what that means, Lord King. <laughs> I don't 
know. I feel like Ethan is just such a nothing character. Well, to Capcom at least. Like, obviously he's not that to me. But Ethan is just genuinely not considered to be a main protagonist, I feel like, by most people. It's like, it's like when you're with your cousins and they have the big kid group and the little kid group. And no matter how old you grow, you're never part of the big kid group. That's like Ethan. He's never gonna be in that specific group of all the guys. Cause he literally died. And that sucks cause he literally played as Ethan in Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8. They have added characters that are more obscure for people. I guess. We'll have to see. I feel like they're gonna add people they're gonna add the popular characters first, won't they? Like, Lewis or whatever? Are you a part of the little kid group? Chromever. And so what if I was? Chrome, please play Regretta Vader. I don't want to. That's just my genuine response. <laughs> I do not want to play Regret Evader. I don't think I really care for it. I'm not a, I'm not a very Roblox person either. Fool is really into Roblox though. You could have said it nicer. In my opinion, and I hope this doesn't hurt anyone's feelings, I don't want to play a video game. <laughs> Sasuke died and they added him. It's literally Sasuke! It's literally Sasuke though! <laughs> Tell Fool to stream Roblox for you. I've played Roblox like twice on stream, I think. I played... As a kid, I would play the uh, natural weather disaster thing. And then I would play... No, that was it. <laughs> it was so funny when you played the Warrior Cats roleplay game. That one was fun. I don't remember much about it, though. Crumb, if every game's offered, would you be in Fortnite? I mean, why would I say no? Like, already, that's a very... impossible offer. But in alternate universe, Crumb is the biggest person ever in Epic Games reached out. I was starting to pet simulator with a friend and we would be putting mad hours into it just because they are gambling for pets. You just, it doesn't even matter what you're doing, bro. You just want to gamble. All of these crumbs are so sad. Look how sad all these crumbs are. All of them have been frowning. Except for this one. But I don't really like him either, so... It doesn't really count. Don't be sad, Crumb Cat. She's smiling now. I love gambling. I mean gotcha games. They're sad because we talked about Ethan. Crumb Cat is sad because she knows she's never gonna get Ethan content ever again. I think the most recent Ethan content. How long was that? I think it was New Year's. I think it was Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year. And it wasn't even the official post. It was a postcard that someone had gotten and posted a photo to on Twitter. 
and I took a screenshot of that. <laughs> this is a this is the type of crumb tent you get a reason winters. Don't worry, crumb cat cracks knuckles and pushes you to the side with big strong arms. I'll handle this. <gasps> but Riley! Oh my gosh, what are you going to do? Riley's just going to like destroy epic games. The four Ethan fans cheered. Yes! Yes! Being an Ethan Winter server is so funny. Because at this point, it's just a group chat for me and all my friends. And I'm the only one who is still really into Resident Evil. <laughs> Ethan fans are a dying breed. Going to become the company. Crumpany. Poor things. It's gonna happen to me. You still haven't moved on? One day, I'm gonna move on. And I'll find something else to like. And hopefully, it won't be a character that's really obscure. Ethan isn't even obscure. He has two whole games and people still don't like him. Capcom, please. If you make Ethan Winters content, don't even be worried about making money from it. I will buy it 100 million times. I will buy the minimum of the merch and you will be able to make lots of money from me. The second and unofficial Ethan Winters figure release, I opened commissions and finished like five slots in like three days because I wanted to buy it so badly. They don't see the vision. They don't see the vision. Didn't you say you're gonna open up crumb missions again? Yes. I have to work on my sheet though. Cause I have a feeling my commission sheet might be a little confusing to look at. People don't like Ethan? Yeah. The main consensus, uh, at least for people who aren't really like hardcore into the fandom, is that like he's boring. He is, uh, what's the word? He's just boring. He's just not fun. The other characters are just better than him. It's like why have Ethan when you have Leon already? People think that he's annoying and stuff and then for fandom stuff there's a lot of people who dislike him for weirder reasons like Ethan killed Lady Dimitrescu and I think he was wrong for that his swag is too potent really yeah a lot of people really dislike Ethan like what's the word Ethan is, uh, like, it was literally to the point where people were like, Ethan is a self-insert. Like, they thought that he was so nothing, they thought he was just a self-insert for the character. For, for the player. I remember I'd see posts, it'd be like, it'd be like, Ethan, he has no character. That's why he's first person. Because he's supposed to be a self-insert. And I think it's like, in a way, kind of, I guess, because he is more relatable. Because he isn't like a government agent or like a super secret like soldier or whatever. He's just a dude, but I don't think the relatability is supposed to go on the level of, oh, no, I am him. <laughs> I've seen some people that really like Ethan. Cause he's just a normal dude that kills Eldritch Horrors with guns. Yeah, there's a lot of people who like Ethan just because they're like, 
oh, he's such a sweet dad and stuff. I cried when he died and stuff. But then anytime you see someone say something like that, there is always one person in the replies like, thank God he's dead. And it's like, okay? Like, a lot of people were happy that he died in the end. Because they just didn't like his character. They thought he was boring. They wanted Leon and Chris back. I think it's more so so you can sympathize with him because he's more of a guy who never signed up for any of the action. Yeah. Ethan was born in the wrong generation. I hate Leon! <laughs> Listen. Leon, he didn't do anything to me personally. He's not even a bad character. He didn't even like... He's not annoying or anything. I just... It's like petty. I just hate him because of the fandom. I actually cried so hard that I couldn't see when he died. I almost got sick. Isn't Chris like super old now? Why do you want him back? He's he's just the original character. A lot of... Because it... Resident, he, Ethan was introduced later. Like Chris was introduced Resident Evil 1. Leon was introduced like Resident Evil 2. Ethan got introduced literally like five games after that. Like, so so when people saw him, especially because of the change in the gameplay, like going from third person to like first person, it felt very impersonal, I guess. Like, it's like, oh, this isn't even an actual character. You never see a face that you can give to the character. You never really, like, Ethan is very unreactive in Resident Evil 7. He's very quiet. He doesn't react much, and when he does, he sounds like he's about to fall asleep and stuff. Which is like, yeah, I see finding him boring because of Resident Evil 7, but you need to look deeper than that, man. Look at his character goals and everything. Especially in Resident Evil 8. If, it, if you play Resident Evil 8 and at that point you still think that Ethan is bad, then it's like, okay, bro. Now you're just being a hater for nostalgia's sake. You're just being a hater because of Chris and Leon. You just want those same guys again. It's so funny that people hate Ethan, but Resident Evil 7 saved the franchise? Okay, to be fair, people hating, like, Ethan the character and stuff. Like, even though Resident Evil 7 did save the franchise, I mean, you can still dislike Ethan. I don't think people owe anything to Resident Evil 7, but it is annoying that he is that that the games in general is just dismissed a lot. If you want them back so so bad, then go play the millionth remake of Resident Evil 2. Yeah, stop! Like, listen, dude. The next the the, the two games being about Ethan Winters isn't going to ruin your constant farm of Leon content, like Chris content, they are literally remaking like every single one of the games for some reason. You have a constant stream of content. Just because Ethan Winters is the main protagonist and he's the one cracking witty jokes does not mean that he is fighting Leon Kennedy in a popularity contest. We all know Leon has already won that. Isn't Chris literally in like three or four games? He is literally in Ethan's games. In eight, he is literally like a playable thing. He has a playable section. And he is one of the antagonists? Sort of. He's framed as an antagonist, but then at the end he throws ammo at Ethan's head in like med bottles. So he is good at the end. It's just a misunderstanding. But like, ugh, I get so riled up about it. I hate how, and I know it's a marketing thing, but it's just like, are you really gonna keep using Chris your cash cow over and over again? Just because he's more recognizable? Ethan's not recognizable because you don't use him for anything. You don't promote him 
at all. Clown Girl thank Roy he gave you money. Oh, thank you Roy King for gifting us all to Shy Guy. It is very appreciated. I'm sorry, I did not notice. Jeez, we already finished and we have 30 minutes left. Let's keep going. Maybe this is just me being misinformed, but I feel like Chris has less personality than Ethan does. Okay. To be completely honest, take this with a grain of salt. I do not play the other Resident Evil games. I am not interested in the other Resident Evil games. But at least in the beginning, before the remakes, Chris and Leon, I think they were basically kind of just... Their entire character was just based off of, like, tropes. Like, they didn't really have that much character. And that's what the remakes are for. The remakes kind of, like, make things better and stuff and flush things out. And, like, give more character and stuff. But, like, in the beginning, yes, Chris and Leon weren't that much, to be honest. But, like, <sighs> it's so sad. There is no Ethan content. Because Capcom is like, well, we can't make a poster of Ethan. We gotta make it of Chris Redfield and make half of his face a wolf for some reason. Like, it's, it's just frustrating because it's like, Oh, well, we can't use Ethan because he's faceless. Yes, you can! Don't be stupid. Just put a silhouette over his face. It's not that hard. Or just make him not face the camera. And you've done it before. You just don't try. It's just because you want to put Chris on top of everything. Why is Chris even the cash cow? I feel like every Resident Evil fan I see is obsessed with Leon. And everyone's kind of apathetic about Chris. Why is Capcom putting all their eggs in that basket? No, Chris is... I don't know if he's well-liked. He definitely is well-liked. But, like, he is recognizable to the franchise. And to see, like, Chris being introduced in another game, it's like, oh, we're gonna see Chris and what he's doing now and stuff, and people are interested in that and stuff. I am personally not a fan of Resident Evil fans and Leon. I honestly think a majority of them are gross. <laughs> Could be a casual fan. Could be casual versus fan thing. I'm pretty sure it's that. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, fans love Leon, but I think the casual thing is Chris. Slams my head into a wall. I'm sorry. I am just not... Leon is a very difficult character to like. Not because he is like... Not because he has like... Discourse and stuff. But because just the fandom is so weird. It's like... Oh! It's like if Ethan was my favorite character but the only content I ever got was just people sexualizing and like mischaracterizing him. I would be literally miserable. All the old Resident Evil fans like Chris and Leon fans are mainly newer fans that think he's hot but are probably not gonna put as much money into the game as Chris fans. Yeah, does that make sense? Leon? A lot of Leon fans I feel like they're just liking him to like sexualize them and it's like cool you do that but like you're weird <laughs> this crow cat is so groompy because they like him as an entirely different character than what he actually is for real the fan sexualizes the heck out of him i am not a crumb fan Listen, 
If my friend likes Leon, that's good for them. But if anyone ever asks me to draw Leon, I'm like, no. Unless it's Lethan, then no. I do not want to draw Leon and then Leon fans start following me. I do not want that. I do not want them around me. Unless it's him kissing Ethan. I'm saying, I'm saying. Show the Leon armpit cat photo. Stop talking. Stop talking, I don't want to think about that. You still do have a girl, it's just to ask you to draw Leon. Oh, you didn't have to time out Saxico for that photon. In my opinion, a lot of Leon fans didn't actually play the games. They bring in less money because they only like him for looks and weird stuff, unfortunately. I hate it. I hate it so much. Like, dude, you can be a fan of a character, but if, like, the only thing you do with that character is sexualize them, then it's like you see them more as a body than an actual character. And to me, that's just gross. I cannot... ever... view a character like that, because to me, it's just like... Is that the only thing you want to do with a character? Can't you do more than that? And ugh, I absolutely hate it when it's the only joke they have. Makes me so sad because I do enjoy his character a lot, but I find it impossible to separate that now. And in turn, I dislike him. Yeah. <laughs> I never even got to start liking him. Cause before I even found out what his character actually was like, I was just already being like, bombarded with all this Leon stuff of what his character wasn't like. And now I'm seeing that and I'm like, is he just like this? I don't like that either way. Ugh, there wasn't an evil fandom. Ugh. I just, listen, sorry Leon fans, I probably will never like that character, and it's, and it's not Leon's fault, <laughs> the fandom is just like that. Right, like I get being attracted, Val? Uh, I get being attracted to a character, but if that's all you talk about and draw and joke about nothing else, then you clearly don't even respect the character. It's just like... Ugh. I cannot stand it, man. Hi, Val. Shoot. Dang it, I'm trying to... Do I... Where do I know you from? I, like, instantly recognized your name. I started noticing they ignore his canon personality and tired for their head cans too. <sighs> I'm, so, I'm so tired of people going like, oh poor Leon, he's a little naive guy, he's just a little baby. He's a cop! I'm jumping frogs friend. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. That was it. From the the blinded server, I think. You freaking scared me. I'm sorry. <laughs> It was bad before the Resident Evil 4 remake already, but when that dropped, it quickly went from all cutie baby to sexualizing sexualizing. It got so scary. Either way, it was him as a body to people and not as his motivations or lore. Oof. Like, Leon is a good person. He wants to help. Ugh, I just hate the way the fandom takes it. Like, even when they're not, like, actively, like, doing NSFW of him or whatever, they're still... The headcanons in, like, the way they characterize him are still kind of... They still root to that. Does that make sense? <sighs> Leon is not a point of defense's pretty boy. Yeah, he's just... 
a pretty boy. He's more than that, obviously. But, like, don't make him, like, a baby. I dislike it. I dislike it. Crumb has too much... Too much hatred and malice in her heart towards the fandom. I will probably never... Enjoy Leon Kennedy. To be honest. Just because of the fandom. Sorry, any huge Leon fans who followed me and were hoping for me to eventually start making fan art of him. Because I did once. <laughs> Jesus, the lady talking about the Leon fan makes me not want to engage in it ever. Not like I was going to anyways. I mean, if you're a fan of the character... Uh, exploit the fandom, I guess. I, from what I've seen of it, it's just, ugh, there's so much discourse too. Where, where? Claire and Leon is better than Ada and Leon. Who cares, bro? Who cares? Like, it is, like, the stuff. I, like, before I muted just straight up the word Leon and all the ships he was in, I would get that discourse on my timeline all the time. And I would keep pressing not interested in this post over and over again. And it would keep showing up more and more. It was horrible. Okay, I think I'm gonna go now. You probably have a good stream. Hope the rest of an evil rant goes well, too. Bye, brother. If you exploit a Leon fandom, you won't be able to get away from the sexualized stuff at all. I can't give you an exact answer on what the fandom is like, because I didn't actually ever fully go into it. I'm sure there's people out there who treat Leon normally, but I wouldn't know. What about you, Riley? Were you in the Leon fandom? Do you have any advice? <laughs> Cleon is better than Eon. If you ship Eon, you should die. Today I went outside with my dog, and it was very sunny out. <laughs> He's an okay guy. I liked him, then slowly stopped because of how bad the fandom was. Oh, I have some horror stories. Sheesh. I am... At least from what I've experienced with other Ethan fans, everything has been, like, fine. Like, I've made a lot of friends from it. There's sometimes, there are some people who are like, Guys, Ethan? He kind of sucks for killing the Lloyds. But those guys aren't fans, so, like, it's not like <laughs> it's really a thing. For advice, I just recommend to stay away from that specific genre of people, especially on Twitter and everything like. When you ignore those people and just play the games, he's so popular for a reason. He's a great and fun character, and he is relatable and has great motivations and stuff. It's just like any other fan that we gotta steer clear of certain spaces, but he just has a worse for some reason. No, actually, like... Sometimes I think about it, it's like, what happened to him? The way pe some people treat him is just so disgusting. It's so cringy to see people talk about him in the way that they do. I'm not a Crumb fan. What's your favorite top 10 colors? I like all the colors. I don't know, he got the short end of the stick and it's so unfortunate. Even the barf colors? Barf colors can look nice. Makes me sad when characters are so disrespected, especially when they're interesting and it only turns people away from enjoying the character. 
I don't know if this is just a me problem, but as much as I love Cloud, I can't with his fan base. Because I can rarely find people who draw Cloud in a not sexualized way or treat him normal. I get he is attractive to some people, but it's so hard to actually find people who draw him, who treat him normal and draw fun eye of him. Don't worry, Thickums. You have me. I'm like the connoisseur of drawing characters in strange situations that aren't that weird. They're just stupid weird. <laughs> Kyle is just also a very strange fandom. Because of the people who are like, My character can't have done anything bad ever. So then like, Kyle shows up and they're like, Guys! Well, technically, he only experimented on dead bodies, so I guess you could say he was a bit of a good guy. Like, people just cannot handle their character being bad, especially with the Lloyds. And seeing those people, it's just like, you can't go into that fandom because you never know who you're gonna talk to and then they're gonna pull out This is why Carl is a better person for Ethan than Mia was And it's like, okay! Now I don't wanna even be here! What do you call the drawings you do? Crumb Boodles? <laughs> That's a very funny name But no, I did not call them anything <laughs> That's why I love your Leon stuff so much Because you made him act how he actually does I'll, I'm gonna start drawing Leon specifically only in his Resident Evil 2 design. And he's gonna be a poor little puppy who doesn't know how to do anything. That's your boy made a real character too. Like, no, my character's evil and messed up. It makes them more enjoyable. <sighs> it's so hard to find someone who, who's whose, like, favorite characters are the Lloyds, and for them not to be like, you know, actually, these guys didn't do anything wrong. And it's just like, alright, well now I don't want to talk to you. Fill my stomach, Jay. I really don't like most of the fandoms on it, but I don't know how to leave so I suffer. Hello, chum. Raccoon? I haven't seen you in ages, I think. Hi, Raccoon. I just realized your name is just Raccoon, but like, pronounced with a W. It's going back to every character, but that's what makes them so fun to talk about. Complicated characters are interesting. I'm saying... I am saying... If I want... If I want... If I like a character, I'm not gonna change everything about that character. Even people do that too because it takes away from the reason they're so cool in the first place. If you say they did nothing wrong, it really takes away from their core characteristics and what makes them really good. Exactly. And even then, some of the characters, they're just villains. Like, they are so obviously made to be villains. I genuinely do not think Capcom made Mother Miranda with the intention of people to see her and be like, you know, I don't know if I should be siding with Ethan. Like, okay? <laughs> I think you might be stupid if you're playing the game that leads up entirely to having to fight this woman because of all the horrible things she done. Only for you to be like, Ethan's kind of wrong for this. It's a weird thing with women too. Don't clip that. <laughs> it's a weird thing with women characters too. Where some people are like, Oh, well, like, you're demonizing her because she's a woman that's misogynistic. But then when you don't allow female characters to have flaws or make mistakes or do bad things intentionally, you're taking away from their character. You're making them less. Just because, oh no, Female character bad? You can't say that. 
you have to let let women be let women be evil, but then also let them face the consequences. How could you not sigh that Ethan? She later experiments on the people of the village, unwillingly killing a bunch of them. Can also be cut into pieces to revive her own child. <sighs> the problem is that it's like, oh well, she lost her child, and it's like, okay, <laughs> okay. What do you want me to do? Play you a song on the violin? Come on, man. The new screen dot poem for a tier one is very appreciated. So weird because they'll either demonize a woman and be like, no, woman being evil? Never. I know I say it a lot, but it's so bad with Donna. Donna isn't some poor damsel. She literally has an army of psychic dolls with knives and lures people into her house. That's the more misogynist thing is to assume that women can't have flaws and wrongs like men can. Does that make sense? Like thinking, like thinking that it's misogynistic to have a complex female character is more misogynistic. And I don't think it's like in a way where people are purposefully doing that, where they think a woman can't be complex like male characters. I think it's more of in an ignorant way, where it's like, it's just like, she can't be bad. She's a good character. And it's like, you can be a good character and do bad things. They aren't exclusive to each other. I'm in love with evil woman. <laughs> Donna, is, Donna is a very bad one. Just because of how people treat her. It's, it's very, uh, poor characterization. Because people think that her and Angie are two different people. Like, no. Donna's controlling her. All those things Angie said is what Donna is saying to manipulate Ethan. Like, she says horrible things to Ethan. Complex women characters are either babied hit Hated so bad or extremely sexualized, it's so sad. Ugh, Lady Dimitrescu, I'll save you. I'll save you, Lady Dimitrescu. I'll save you, Lady Dimitrescu. When my Miss D and the Man Thing stuff started blowing up a lot, I would actually keep on making, like, clarifications in the comics. Where it's like, this isn't ship art. This isn't ship art. Please don't make this weird. And then people are like, why are you doing this? And it's like, it's because people treat Lady D like that. And I don't want those kind of people following me and expecting stuff like that. Or interpreting it, like, in that way. I just like it. Donna is literally doing the definition of hiding behind a keyboard and insulting you. Donna is so crazy. I feel like genuinely, like she is the worst on like a more personal level. Cause she isn't trying to stab Ethan to death. She's trying to do that and also just mess with his head. And like psychologically scar him. Like she is like probably like the most messed up out of all of them. She had a doll of Mia. She literally makes Ethan mess around with a mannequin of what his wife looks like while making him listen to like things that Mia is saying that purposefully are done to confuse him and upset him. She is probably like, she, like it's on such a personal level too. Cause it's directly about Ethan. And it's like, it's not Lady Dimitrescu who's just trying to stab you until you die. Or like Moreau trying to eat you. She's like directly messing with the things inside of Ethan's head. And purposefully creating situations that make him uncomfortable and freaked out. By the way, cute kitties. Thank you. 
She's a ghost of me and led Ethan into a gate and opened it for him. She was adored and watching Ethan suffered and only got killed because she got cocky. No, literally. Donna has like the most power, I feel like. Like, yeah, Kyle can turn into a monster truck, sure. But like, Donna could kill him so easily. She is literally playing around with him on purpose. Mother Miranda did not ring Donna and was like, hey, you have to torture this guy. No, she woke up that day like, I have to torture that guy. She wanted to do that. She wanted to do that. Like, I feel bad for Donna because of her trauma and past, but just like Miranda, but that doesn't excuse her of her actions. Yes, that is every single one of the lights. You can feel bad for them because what Miranda did to them, but they still are villains. Their, their backgrounds aren't supposed to be justification. It's just context. It's sad that Donna was taken advantage of by Miranda and stuff. But like, you can't blame Ethan for having to defend himself when she staples one million knives to her dolls and throws them at him with catapults. Like, you have to be serious. She was feeling silly and decided to traumatize and inflict psychological torture onto Ethan. I'm saying, it's like, let characters be bad, please. I know some people strongly believe in the headcanon that Kyle was taking as a child. And even if he was, who cares? He still experiments on people. And he doesn't even experiment on dead people because he's like, oh, well, I wouldn't want to kill anyone. He also does that. He also kills people. Genuinely, the only reason he experiments on dead people for his soul acts are because it's more convenient. Genuinely. He literally has a note where he messes up and he thinks, maybe I should just start doing it on living people. Like, brother, he's not a good person. Not only was she the most powerful, but was the Lord in the most control. Everyone else was caught off guard by Ethan. By, but Donna had Ethan nearly exactly where she wanted her. And it's so sad the fan just boils her down to ooh, socially anxious girly. But, 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 Donna have had social anxiety. Ethan? just hates people with social anxiety. That's really what it seems like. I don't know about you guys. The ramification of characters who do bad and evil things needs to stop, please, and they can finally be peace. I'm saying, all right, come ever. I got all gassed up, but it has been two hours. So you guys can go, I guess, looks away and off to the side. Uh-oh. The prediction results are blocking the button for me to raid. <laughs> Alright. Um, I need this prediction thing to go away so I can raid my friend. Hello? Oh my gosh. Do I have to wait for the thing to disappear? No way. Come on, just go away. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. You can dismiss it. I can't. I can't dismiss it. I can only look at the details. Okay. If it runs out of time, will it just... Will it just... Will it just... Uh, what's the word? Send you guys there automatically? The three dots? There are no three dots! <laughs> there are no three dots! It should? Okay, well, we're just here now, I guess. Whatever. I'm... Uh... Awkward. So... What are you guys doing in your free time? <laughs> Is there no view all type button? It's either getting clipped off by the chat or... Okay, bye, I guess. <laughs>